Welcome back, everybody. We continue with the grip, and we have Cardinal reliever John Brevio with us this afternoon. And, John, for you being a reliever, you're not a guy that has to have four and five pitches to use to get people out with. What are the two pitches or three pitches you like to use in the ballgame? Uh, yeah, so I, I have a combination of two fastballs, which I, I kind of like to count as one, um, a four-seamer and a two-seamer. Uh, I go with a breaking ball, a slider, and a changeup. Um, try and mix speeds as much as I can, mix direction as much as I can, and try and get some outs. So show us your uh, grip for your yeah. two-seamer. Two-seamer. Pretty traditional, I think, mm -hmm. right along the laces. Four-seamer, pretty standard again. I'm kind of a boring guy when it comes to grips, I guess. As long as you're getting them out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Slider, hooking the seam a little bit, and then change up. You throw a circle change at all, or just a just straight change? I'd, I'd say it's kind of a combo. Um, so I have a little bit of a circle there, but for the most part, I treat it like a straight change up. So hopefully it can move around for me. How do you get movement on your pitches? Let's say you're two seamer. Yeah, um, big thing for me is picking up a location. Um, I feel like if I can keep my head still and I can get my hand as far to the target as possible, as close to the ice club as I can, that's going to get me the most late life. One of the things that we don't talk a great deal about is finger pressure. Mm -hmm. And maybe some guys grip it a little too tight. How do you try and make sure you gauge that, that fine point of knowing you're going to have a good feel as it leaves your hand? So one of the things I heard when I first started playing baseball was hold it like an egg. Um, so I, I think it would be kind of appropriate to say hold it like a hard-boiled egg because regular eggs can get a little cracky on you. Um, so I, I try and picture the thing like it's a hard-boiled egg, shell on, uh, <laughs> that I don't want to squeeze too tight or else I'll start to crack it. But at the same time, I got a little give with the pressure. All right. Anything else you want to show us about your grip? You know, I, I don't think so. I'd, I'd love to work on some fancy new pitch, something so what like you got, this, but I don't know. Work, you ever sat in the bullpen with guys who are working with different pitches and they're looking oh, at yeah. grips and talking grip a lot? Oh, yeah. Who'd you learn the most from? Oh, gosh. Um, I I tried to learn from Jordan Hicks about his fastball, um, clearly because I haven't thrown the ball that considerably hard. over 100 miles an hour. I'm, I'm not learning very well. Uh, I really enjoyed, actually Sam Tuivala was a great person to talk to for me for uh, breaking balls and change-ups. I, I feel like we have, we're not, we don't have similar motions, um, but I feel like we have kind of a similar release with our wrist and hand, and he's helped a lot with kind of steering me in the right direction. Wrist and hand, it's a lot of this. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's yeah. something that a lot of young pitchers don't understand yet. You have to have this developed as well, the forearm yeah. as well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very much about, less about pushing the ball in and more about just kind of letting your hand and letting your wrist do, do the work for you. He's John Brevia. There's the grip. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank oh, you guys. Of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>